Impressed? You should be. You haven't lived until you died in New York. Oh, my sweet tooth says I want to, but my wisdom tooth says no. In my heart, I... New York is a living, breathing organism. I find it hard to stay away. Oh, oh, there's really two sides to me. Oh, oh, you've only made one agree. Get there is no question that there is an unseen world. The problem is, how far is it from Midtown, and how late is it open? You could grow up in the city where history was made and still miss it all. I'm here living lusty. When you leave New York, you ain't going anywhere. New York is the only city in the world where you can get run down on the sidewalks by a pedestrian. I just love Lynn and Diego so dearly. Except when they're torturing me, I hate them. God, I want to stab them in their sleep. But, you know, I can't because I'm scared of the dark and their room is pitch black when they're sleeping. Me and Lynn, yes, Lynn, went to this opera. Gosh, never again. Operas these days are terrible. These people on the stage, they were like, Every Thursday, we go to the galleries to do the openings. I can barely remember what we saw. Really? A repetitive display of hats. Really? I was watching this video and I loved it. Then I realized that the sound was broken and I felt like a fool. Carrot? On a ball? Terrible. So, we went to the Met. This is my second time there. So, really? I feel like I am a patron. Few questions. One, hey Matt, where are the mummy bodies? I see the cases, but not the bodies. Two, why don't the security guards look at you in the eyes when you speak to them? Three, seriously, Facebook staff at the Met? Three weeks and no answer. What the heck? It was called Showcase. We were supposed to go to this hotel room. When we got there, pitch dark. It was, it was really comforting until the light came on. 
I had no idea what I was looking at. I was in that position where I saw a man's penis. And he was talking to his shadow. Yeah, it was really weird, but at least I know my penis is bigger than his. <laughs> That was a preview of my performance of the Andy Warhol screen test that I did with artist Eric Doringer in his studio in Brooklyn. We had some couch surfers stay over for about a week or so. They were Aussies. They were amazing. They were part of a band. Just a fabulous band. Oh, I love them. Some of the greatest musicians in the world made their bones in New York. And though I'm not one of them, I decided to sharpen my scales. Guitar. Piano. And my harmonica. Times Square, so much energy. Come on along and listen to the lullaby of Broadway. Such a beautiful place, so many people. So many people in costumes also. I saw SpongeBob, Elmo. I saw a man in underwear. Says goodnight, it's early in the morning. Men have they are all fabulous, beautiful, magenta. Call it a day. I have to have time to keep my sexy body in shape, even though I'm on vacation. Me, Diego, Lynn, we go play racquetball in the park. Damn, we suck. But I mean, we keep trying, and our figure keeps getting better and better. Thank you, Uncle Vito, for giving us confusing rules. But yeah, thank you. Do I hit the ball off the wall? I'm still confused. Huh. Oh, it's just my luck. I got that on film. We met the mayor at the VIP opening of the McCarran Pool. We got to swim before everyone peed in it. Me and Lynn decided every Monday 
we would go to libraries, not any ordinary library, Carnegie Libraries. A famous man, he's long gone dead. He was a philanthropist. I don't know what that means. We would have to study it, which we haven't yet, but we will. We would go to these libraries and study them, take pictures of the outside, and compare them to the olden day pictures. I also collaborated with Improv Everywhere. Get up on it. Welcome to the MP3 Experiment 9, Insurrection. My name is Steve, and I'll be your omnipotent voice today. Follow my instructions, and we'll all have a pleasant time together. Today is very special. It is the first day of the Governor's Island Olympic Games. Are you ready? One, two, three... It has been a pleasure serving you today. As always, this is Steve, the omnipotent voice from above, signing off. I celebrated my birthday by tasting New York's finest pastries. Yum. My trip is coming to an unfortunate end because I was being a total douche, but <laughs> Joey, you can't use that. Nice. So finally, before leaving New York, I couldn't resist taking a trip to Coney Island. Oh, goodbye, my Coney Island baby. Farewell, my own true love. True love, my honey. I'm and... gonna go away and leave you. Never to see you any. Never gonna see you any. I'm gonna sail upon that ferry boat. Never to return again. Never return again. So goodbye. Bum, bum. Goodbye, my Coney Island. Hee -haw. 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 Goodbye, my Coney Island. Goodbye, my Coney New York. New York. No doubt. New York. No doubt. New York City. New York. New York. New York. New York. New York. No doubt. New York. I hope to come back next year. New York, I can't stay away from you too long. New York City. New York, New York. New York.
And by the way, I love eggs. When my little baby cousins get older, I'm going to be like Lynn and Diego. Every year they're going to come up wherever I live, most likely New York, and I'm going to torture them until they have culture. <laughs>